what is it? Like, I don't you know, know what the there, solution there's one, is. There's two. There's there's two options. Was that there's one one country? Mm. Um, yeah, but it's this is imp- like a. Uh, it's like an eon conflict and it's I like hey saying, guy from missouri what do you think and it's no, like i, I was, think we got enough problems in america i don't i want uh, nothing to do with the. i want i care as much about israel as i care about ukraine or palestine or russia like I, they are not relevant to me in my time not at yeah. all but you have, <laughs> yeah, you have russia's like, uh, hugely relevant to me data other than watching ovechkin chase that goal record would you but would, <laughs> would you, uh, you don't want any involvement with any country you not, have you have bases really. all over the world yeah, I don't think that's ideal. I think that spreads us very thin and that we have a lot of issues that need handling on the home front. How does and involving us, us in another thin. war they're, they're is They're aircraft bad. bases, right? Like, we don't fight wars with, like, bunches of troops. You know? We have, you, we you have know. tons of bases all over the world. Yeah, I think they were talking it, about you ever, bases. You ever see that picture of Iran and how many bases we have completely surrounding those? And I mean, then we're like, why surrounded. do they dislike us? <laughs> 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 it's like, yeah, we keep why. them under our thumb where they belong, Taylor. I, I, I'm tired of these, these Gen Z Americans who, who don't realize that we're the winners. You didn't live through the 90s. This is what we do. They taught us two things in school, World War II and America's a winner. All right? That's what we do. <laughs> we kill people, we blow it up, and we sell our weapons to other people. That's what we do here. If this was Hunger Games, we'd be the state that makes all the bombs. That's what we're about. We're good at it. We're the best at it. As We're better at it than anyone in the universe has ever been, been as far as we know. For now... This isn't going to Here's, last here's a question about this Palestinian thing. Do you think if they stop bombing now, all those, uh, the 1.9 million people who are left are going to be like, whew, glad the Jews left us alone. Let's forgive and forget, eh, guys? Forgive and forget, right? No. No. Everyone they kill is another one they won't have to kill in 10 years. That's is the this where American the military bases are? Oh, God, it's beautiful. <laughs> I don't even know what some of those islands. We need more are. in Russia and China. Yeah, I know they're just like them. floating in the middle, like that one under India. What's even there, and why do you need to be there? Okay, let's get real here. We can save a lot of money pulling stuff out of South America. Who cares what's going on down there? Central America, same thing. Who cares? Southeast Asia. What are oh, we doing Central, in the Philippines? Central and America. I don't care. Africa. Southeast Asia. Central what are we America. Doing in Africa. Who it's cares beautiful. about Africa? You need that it's Central beautiful. America though. No. Well, what are we well, doing? You're going to have like a Canada to the south. You're going to have people uh, like My from other country countries. Of the Damn, do we not have. Land I, don't, of- I don't think we have any in Mexico. It doesn't look like we it's have like any beautiful. Mexican bases. Maybe it like doesn't. Guatemala down there. Yeah, I. I wouldn't think so. Well, I was going to no. say that the thing is like, uh, you got too many. If if we were talking really about many. one thing and then it went to something else, like you know, the we spent we Canada sends money to Ukraine and to Gaza for aid, and uh, you know the money gets sent out, and the houses are so expensive here. There's a million problems to solve at home, you know, mm-hmm. um, and uh, it's obviously just very important to your country to be everywhere. That's just something that the U.S. has done from the beginning. It's uh, well, from the beginning. I mean, you know, post World War II. World War II. Yeah, I don't think that's ideal. I don't. Th- I think. I think you overextend and you start spending money in ways that isn't beneficial to the people at home, and the people at home start to feel like, hey, this call? government isn't even representing me. What? What the hell? I don't have health care. I don't have this and that. We traded health care for for a military. What's that policy called? That. So that we could. You did the, it though. You have the money. You have the money for both, by the way. It's not one or the other. Thought is, oh, it was that policy about policy? being able to fight, uh, you know, two war, two wars essentially on on opposite sides of the I globe. I haven't heard it. I don't know. The, there's a name for it, huh? Since World War Two. Um, war on two fronts. Not just two fronts, but you know, being able to fight a war in Europe and and Asia, for example, like we did in World War World World War Two. Well, I don't think there's a big war is going to break out in like Asia, right? Yeah, that's Taiwan. exactly where the big war is coming. Yeah, there's a huge. That's where the, the, the main the big, war is coming. USA and China, like, are are the the fact that they had discussions recently was were pretty chill discussions, kind of low key, and and even Biden calling him a dictator and saying it's a dictatorship is kind of low key chill. Uh, rolling out the red pledge. carpet for him, rolling out the red carpet for him, and having uh like uh the streets cleaned up because he's coming to visit was so crazy. And bizarre because the streets have always been crazy and bizarre. And what's crazy and bizarre is also so many people like, and I'm not, it's not a what about ism thing. Like Israel, uh, I'm not backing the politics of Israel, but in terms of Muslims uh, and genocide, the, the Uyghur numbers in China, 
They're taking people from their families in the middle of the night and they're putting them in prisons. They're, they're Uyghurs. Re-educations, you know? Uh, yeah, right? Uyghur. We could be Uyghur, yeah. Um, <laughs> but I, I, the, I the Uyghur, my way. The Uyghur yeah. Muslims. <laughs> yeah no it's for real and i'm like they're all wearing jean code there. jeans there's like, stuff, uh, but it's there's j-rock crazy, from trailer park there's crazy street. stuff going on there and, and no one no one is uh protesting that it's just there's this there's like such a crazy attachment to this israel palestine thing there's a crazy attachment uh because what's crazy about it is like for example taylor like you don't care but even though you don't care, it comes up like crazy because yeah. they report on this shit a million times more than they do on every other war. And they ask like about everything it else going on right now. There's there's a couple of genocides going on right now, and this this one is focused on the most. There's something about it that's extremely compelling and clickable. Um, maybe it's. Uh, Maybe it's the color of the people's skins. Maybe it's the location. Maybe, you know, uh, maybe it's the Jews. Uh, but there's a lot to it that is, for some reason, way more. But, uh, I mean, if you don't care, really, ultimately, it's just another war, dude. It's just another yeah, one. It's not particularly extra crazy. It's, it's just our humans. Taylor. And that's yeah, there's always going to be people futzing around doing horrific atrocities all over the world like and we can't stop all of it you and i, I have very you. different versions of futzing around these <laughs> like, these no good nicks are getting involved they're there's sticking always going to be people futzing jar. around i picture them like looking at their feet walking through central park <laughs> they're they're kicking rocks with their hands in their pockets you know that's what they're doing futzing around not not yeah mm -hmm. really wasting time and when we're uh, eventually supposed to support a war against China for in Taiwan or something, I they're ready I really, to go. I right don't there care about Taiwan either. Let's take right care now. of our stuff now. Let's take care of stuff in America. How what about would your a little top priority be, Taylor? For America. What would your top priority be here in America? Uh, for all the for all the unemployed health, health care, that you're wanting to fire. It would be health care, securing healthcare. our borders, like taking care of American veterans, like actual like. Like a money going to Americans. No, but you could do that. You have that money. These it's yeah, not a what if it's not like a this or that. <clears throat> like you could do all those things. We should uh, do man. those things. But like Yeah, yeah I, we, we I agree just, with you. I we agree can't overextend just... ourselves with forever wars all across the globe because that's not that doesn't benefit Americans. It costs mm. us We're money and then we have to fund them. Well, the, the benefit uh is that your government isn't going to choose to send you to war because you have other countries fighting your wars for you. That's how winners get things done. Like you're you don't have to go uh sign up to go fight uh something because you're sending guns and and ammunition and all that to that yeah. country to defend itself. The army missed um, their recruitment numbers by a significant margin. Uh, they have been for a while. Yeah. They they went Why to would the you want to join the pocket military at this point? Not only that, there's a really uh, extra free ugly aspect. Oh, but to wait, it. that's free anyway, I guess. So it's the, because the, unemployment is so low. No, no, no. Also, army recruiting is easier when unemployment isn't and, record low. And what they did was the army, um, uh, what's it called when you let them go? Uh, when they're uh, discharged? just discharged people that didn't want to get vaccines. And those people have gotten letters from the U.S. Army now being like, ah, hey, uh, saw we. <laughs> so it turns out that was like some weird mumbo jumbo, whatever, uh, new president and whatever. Uh, we, we want you to join the Army. So you're back in the Army if you want it. No pressure. We're that's sorry about the vaccine thing. So yeah, they're doing that because yeah. the recruitment was so low. And, and that's the type of stuff where once again, like, uh, yeah, I said I love the USA. I love Canada. I don't like when people disrespect it. But once again, they're liars, too. Like, what a clown show to yeah, discharge people. Trump it's all people like, and I agree with you to, for mandating vaccines, but Biden let them back in. I wouldn't have believed you. But here we are. This yeah. whole, this whole, yeah, this whole thing. Did they like, kick him out while Trump was still doing yeah. his thing? I know because a friend of mine was in that position. He was leaving anyway, but yeah, that's why. Well, I'm not disputing it. I buy it. Yeah. yeah. No, Trump just, was the one so out crazy, there who's like, like, you got to get the vaccine. It's the best vaccine. Warp speed. Warp <laughs> speed, people. The absolute <laughs> He never brought to market. It, that, that was such a kickback. That might be Trump's greatest accomplishment. 
Like, like he might, he probably saved tens of thousands of Americans. No, his lives. greatest accomplishment was humiliating all of those fucking goobers on the stage in the debates in 2015. That, I mean, was, a that will always as be as his as golden moments for me. But I don't as think as the first vaccine thing. was from Project Warp Speed. I think that was second and third or something. Wasn't like that. really? Well, that's upsetting. Wait, how, how did that be? be? How did they beat Project Warp Speed? Yeah. I'll, let me fact check myself. The lying um, Democrats are coming to you with Operation Super. You want to take fast. it away it's from me? Want to take What's it away? Fashion? Yeah, that's <laughs> trying to take away my credit for the warp speed vaccine. That's, if if that's he crazy. comes out and and he and he doesn't misremember things, he doesn't call St. Louis fucking Atlanta or some shit during you, you know when he's on the big stage because nobody's covering him. That's the thing about his little flubs right now. Cameras really on him. He has his Fox News will will go on there. I don't know where I watch it. I think I watch his his rallies on YouTube. I'll tune in for ten minutes kind of take the the temperature of his mental capacity to make sure because look he's my guy he's that funny witty guy who makes fun of people and bullies people mm -hmm. i can't have him slip <laughs> like, yeah. like you're talking about trump yeah, yeah. we need he him was all on, there for bullying nikki haley that dummy he was on the uh on the, ugly he bitch. Took the stand he took <laughs> the stand doing? today and uh uh, he uh, had apparently like had a piece of paper in his coat pocket and like he kept like pulling it out and like playing with it and the judge was like stop doing that and then he pulled it out and he was like it's a uh, paper i would like to read this and the judge was like no it's not the time for that right now and because he's trump and he doesn't take no for a fucking answer mm -hmm. fucking get the sale done he was <laughs> like no i think it would be very uh it would be good for me and none of this would be right. important and i would be cleared of everything if i were just allowed to read this paper <laughs> and he was why like, wasn't he allowed to read it because uh, there's proper uh, order of things done in in court, I guess. Um, no, and that's also, gay. a judge the judge can <laughs> run his court however he wants. You know, that's I don't Judge like that rule. I think judges you you can't get you can't make them little mini kings. They gotta they gotta have some some rules. Put them back in but, wigs so people know to bully them. Get bring knock them down a peg. Knock all the judges down a peg. Even the Supreme <laughs> Court. Fucking bit, bitches. <laughs> sitting up there in their ivory towers writing opinions every once in a while banging their fucking the silly game. hammer it's a hammer buddy i don't care what you call it it's a hammer yeah. i don't know what the situation was but there was oh maybe it was when the republicans ousted the, the house speaker so whatever that fucking shit was the senate majority i don't remember but the guy who was i think it was republican he was overseeing it and he like banged the gavel down super hard to show how super super mad he was and he like missed the the mallet like the, the piece of wood you're supposed to hit he was so yeah. mad he missed it like dude in your head you looked so cool doing that and you look like a fucking pussy yeah you missed <laughs> he had no shoulder in his slam it was a politician's rapping mm -hmm. that's what i, I want to say I, that that's one of the things i do like about our congress it looks somewhat modern like the rituals and stuff they do come out with this big golden eagle or some shit occasionally I saw that recently on C-SPAN. Cool a big they golden eagle like a, that makes us look serious. Have, it made me think of like Rome, how you'd have that big standard, yeah. that big golden eagle. They came out with that shit. But if you ever watch Parliament, like English, British Parliament, whatever, um, in, in England, I guess. <laughs> yeah. They have that. They've got all sorts of witchcraft going on. There's big old tomes on there. Each other. With metal will class. The, will the homosexual gentleman from Wicketshire please stand and offer a rebuff? To my eight clear. guys stand up. It's, yeah, eight guys stand up. <laughs> and they definitely come out also with like maybe a sword and like some sort of a magic scepter. Like I think they've got a sword and scepter. Like it's some crazy shit. See, I'm cool with that. <laughs> I looked up the the vaccine thing. So the Moderna one totally was warp speed. The Pfizer one was coming out anyway, and that I think was the first one. And the mm -hmm. Johnson and Johnson one I didn't see. So I don't remember what I got now. I got all three, so I'm good. You I've only had up? Moderna. I tripled up. All yeah, three at the same time. Just Dang, are you vaccinated COVID. now, Harley? Are you like currently boosted? What's so crazy is I got I got so I got the vaccine and I got like three boosters or something. I know. Feel bad for You're me. Quad boosted, man. Uh, and then uh, and I got COVID twice. So what the fuck? Oh, that's. <laughs> I didn't get the answer to my question. Are you currently vaccinated? And then I lost my boxing match because of the vaccine. <laughs> <laughs> is this on like what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> i don't think uh, he's up i don't think he's trusting the science what yeah i, I, I can't tell you... if you're still maintaining your vaccination oh no i'm not i'm not continuously doing the covid vaccine okay 
Um, I'm much healthier now, and I can do it myself. I have a bunch of ivermectin as well. Uh, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> nice. I just uh, like I like listen. Before this, I used to get the flu shot. Uh -huh. Like I was a person that got the flu shot. That's not uh -huh. a more often. There was a like you know uh, most of the time I would get the flu shot, but. Uh, now, I mean, I'd probably still choose a flu shot over a COVID shot. I don't know if I'm getting a flu shot and a COVID shot every year. Um, there, I didn't get any this year. Travis Kelsey let me know just Monday night that I need to get the flu shot yeah. and the COVID shot. Dude, at have the you same seen time. him run with that pig skin? I got to get in there and get that <laughs> yeah. stuff. I got that last week. I did it. I uh, I hadn't done anything for two years. I went to did. Mexico two years ago and uh, got all vaccinated. And then nothing until I needed the physical anyway. And included with the physical was a free flu and COVID shot. And Kyle inspired me to get the flu shot, actually. Not by telling me, but by getting the flu. <laughs> and yeah. I was like, it, it was fucking hard. He told this story You're sick for where me. I guess he was sick all night long. And he had, yeah. like, folded up the towel to make a kneeling pad in front of the toilet, if I understand the story right. And then uh, his lady friend saw it in the morning and was like, whoa, someone was going through it last night. Yeah, because you can like, see the knee impressions on the towel. <laughs> right? And I've been there after like a drinking episode. <laughs> and I know how horrible it is to be that sick. So I got my flu shot. Kyle, are you yeah, maxing up? You trust in science uh, over there? No, you, you know, I, I only got I, I don't trust science. I don't I don't believe most um Look, I think science often points us to the most likely outcome. Jew magic. He ain't about that Jew magic. <laughs> he ain't about it. But, no, you're, but not, like you're literally enough, not supposed to trust science. You're supposed to verify I've, science. I've played That's enough true. poker to know that a, a lot of, you know, the most likely thing doesn't always happen. It's just the most likely thing to, to happen. I, I, I don't trust the science most of the time. I don't know about that fucking vaccine. The fact that, like, it doesn't prevent transmission, like, like it, it's just going to make my shot? symptoms... Um, I'm talking about the COVID thing in particular. Okay, okay. The the flu thing is is I'm not gonna go get that. I'll get sick. I, I'm more likely to get sick in the pharmacy getting the flu shot or at the doctor than I am to get the flu. The fact that I got sick is outrageous because I'm always fucking like I'm careful. I and, and I don't stay around people much. I don't like big mm -hmm. crowds. I've got like a core group of yeah. people. I don't know how I got sick. All I'm, this I'm, floss is chlorinated. All my floss is chlorinated. It's 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 a disease free zone over here. But <laughs> I was so sick. Joke. It was great. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I'm not going to get um, any vaccines. Uh, it, look, look, if they came out with a vac, I'll say it's not that I, if they came out with a vaccine for say cancer, I'd line mm. right up and go get it. You know, if they're like, oh, this prevents prostate cancer, it's the vaccine for. We've prostate already cancer. whooped cancer's ass. Why are you scared of cancer? You know what I mean? Like like if it if this is the cancer vaccine for all can i'm going and getting in line well you wouldn't like line up first you'd be like let's pump the brakes let's make sh let's see how this pans out see i hope that they don't even open the line until they're sure you know what i mean that's the problem with the, the covid thing it was like hey we, we just invented a thing everybody get some or else and or else like, you might oh, lose your job yeah <laughs> you or you will lose your job so i got it because i have my, my parents are old uh, I have friends mm. that are immuno uh, deficiency, whatever the fuck. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it was like, look, I, I don't think this is necessarily health food that I'm taking, but I also inject myself with testosterone and L-carnitine and let's just go. Let's just yeah. get it. So you were in a shoot up I, mood like that. I, don't wanna, <laughs> I was. I, what I didn't want to be was in a situation where I get somebody sick and they're in a hospital for three months and I'm like, fuck, why don't I just get the goddamn shot? And mm -hmm. <laughs> like, like, just like forget what Kid Rock says and get the shot. <laughs> I've never had COVID, but I neither have I. I don't know if that's because I've been vaccinated or if it's because I just I don't usually expose myself to a lot of people. Yeah, it's a working class like, disease. You're, you're yeah. healthy. Like, Real poor yeah. man's disease. I mean, I expose myself to people all the time, but you can't get COVID from Chatterbait. <laughs> Make it classic. <laughs> you that's can't so do that. funny. <laughs> yeah, well, there was a time when you were getting sick during the COVID shit, Kyle, and you're like, <laughs> it's not COVID. I won't get tested for COVID. <laughs> no, I've I've taken the test, and I think it, if you have antibodies for COVID, so if you've ever gotten it, like not just mm -hmm. if you've got it right now, but if you got it last year, it would show up. And I and I don't, I don't. It's syphilis, though. I had it for I a wonder, time, COVID. Yeah, yeah. I wonder if um getting ago. vaccinated impacts that test that you talked about. Oh, that's a good question. You would hope yeah. not. I don't know. You'd hope yeah, all you these things. Smell were... syphilis. You can, mm. and you can uh, see it when your foot skin's this, peeling off. This girl, this girl, I was seeing her roommate. Too. Like they, they, she had a roommate, and uh, went into the bathroom, and there was this p 
putrid smell. That's not syphilis. Bro. I went in right after. Yeah, it, it, it was apparently because she went and got checked after because her. She also was... had syphilis. She also had, <laughs> just had pretty pussy disease. She had syphilis and was it vaginosis? No, it wasn't. Like, it smelled like, it smelled like a yeah, fucking yeah. zombie's breath. <laughs> was it fishy? What did it smell like? No, it was like a biological, like putrid, pussy, Vomit, like sorta. not. Yeah, like it was deeper than a shit. It was not a shit. Sometimes smell. girls forget their tampon in there for months at a time. Like there not can be one in there, in there, like decomposing this clot ball of of, of human flesh, and the and the in the lining of their uterus is just rotting inside them in this cotton ball, growing bacterium of all sorts because. You know that that it's flora and fauna down there, and that and that snatch, and that's then months later, when they finally figure out what not this, fauna, it's, it's a smell that sort of like yeah, there's there's crabs. So like slowly, <laughs> like they've gotten used to the smell over time. It wasn't like you know, you, it's not like walking in a room with with a stink. You're like whoa, get you in the face. But if you slowly add a little more stink to somebody's life every day, mm, they don't frog. even notice it. Oh yeah, yeah, it's, it's like yeah, boiling yeah. you slowly. I saw your people finally got into that tunnel network underneath the hospital over there. Mm. And uh, I saw a video of it today. It, it, it's, I was a little underwhelmed. I'm going I'm to say if you could get them to get some more footage. Um, but, but it is more than I thought it was going to be because at first it, it looked like nothing, but there, there definitely was like a little, little command tunnel down there. You it said was, your people. Uh, now I have to go take the Mizuza off my front door. <laughs> <laughs> your good luck charm you can't have it anymore or people I'd be will lamb's blood you. on that thing every night I, I, I it's you. it's so funny the idea because the idea of it's like oh your people um referring to israel is is so interesting because for so many reasons because it's not like it's like my people israel there's Jews, there's people that aren't Jews, or uh, do I automatically uh, agree with what they do because I'm Jewish, or, you know, is it, it's just like, it's such a funny thing, it's such a weird place, we don't have a country like that on this fucking planet, <laughs> where like, like, if you're Jewish, you're allowed in, everything's equal, mm -hmm. everything, everyone's cool, everyone's, come, you could come here, not too many of you guys, not, not all of <laughs> you guys, some, come in, slowly, but yeah. if you're Jewish, if you're Jewish, 100%, your you're, allowed, you're allowed, you're allowed. <laughs> But everything's fair. Like it's not like Jewish people are treated differently. You just get to go there and then live. You get there. free vacation. And, and then some people choose to uh, take someone else's home or whatever. You know. Um, right, right. But, but we treat uh, them fairly, just as homeless. I would say the yes. oh, the thing that I well, but that I do want to say my people, in the sense that, like I hate the whole like I feel like it's the most anti-human thing to be so religious that your goal is to be a martyr and even like for for a certain cause I, I i would like to imagine that no matter what i've been through or grown up through that if i had to kidnap a baby and you know with the hopes that i die and the baby dies because then i go to you know the religious belief attached to it that whole connection is like insane to me i don't i don't back you're that talking about muslims with that right just jihad, the, the jihadist yeah, yeah, yeah. belief where you're an okay. extremist, and there's extremists in all types of people, but Hamas is like, uh, I, I feel like they uh, abuse the Palestinian people, they indoctrinate children, and uh, yeah, that video, the videos and stuff that I've seen of them going in there and showing guns and being like, look what we found in the hospital, these guns yeah in the uh, mri there are <laughs> there are things that are underwhelming and i'm just like if you're gonna go do it and you're just gonna go and do your shit don't put out these things don't put out things like this even if you they, did well, find guns yeah. there like that's not that's not gonna cut they it need to be I don't know. The messaging is. really really good or don't do it at all don't yeah. don't don't like, put like, messaging out there that's not good messaging and yeah, it's, it's not bad. helping your yeah it's not helping you because they, they they showed that cgi of the command center down there and then when they actually get down there it's like yeah there's a tunnel network here i've seen a lot of toilets <laughs> I'm, seeing <laughs> I'm, a lot of toilets. I'm seeing a lot of a lot of like uh, here's a room he's like here's a room where and then he just starts making shit up. <laughs> yeah. In this room, they could possibly be, you know, maybe the child rape room. Or maybe this is where they <laughs> vivisect the nuns. 
The calendar imagine, was a big deal. I would me. imagine in this room they cook children and devour them into their Muslim mouth. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. Uh, no, 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 no. What's crazy though is that room does like. exist though, but that room yeah. does exist. They will we find just, it. It's, it's not there, that, right. but it's, it's under, under another hospital. It's, it's under a different the, the hospital. Weapons of mass yeah. destruction. The the Israeli lies has Israel losing me. I'm sure they're concerned. But like the uh, the calendar on the wall, that thing has gotten a lot of press and attention from me. The guy is on there. He says, "Look, this is a list of the people that are scheduled to like do their guard duties." And uh, he acted like it was a list of terrorists. Mm-hmm. It was a calendar. Every word on there was one of the days of the week, yeah. and everything else was a number. That it was nothing but a calendar, as simple and common mm-hmm. as it could be. It wasn't a schedule. It wasn't anything. So. Yeah, the but so they, they powered that lie, But wait, but it's very frustrating for me because, like, if I held up this thing and said, This says I'm going to kill people, and you can read it yourself and it doesn't, that's a kind of lie that I'm not okay with. Like, like, the, but wait, so they, they paraglided it and they shot all these people, they took babies hostages, and then you're like, Yeah, but I that's just cool. the calendars. Uh, I'm gonna go with these guys. It's the Israeli lying. Now, I'm not for Hamas. No, I'm, 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 I'm messing around. I'm, I'm oversimplifying for the sake of I that saw joke. Israel put out footage of the tunnel networks, right? And this is like from Israel on their Twitter. The tunnel network was, I don't know what country it was, Sweden, Switzerland, something like that. It was from World War II in their defenses against the Germans. It had nothing to do with Israel. Yet they presented it as if it was the Hamas tunnel network because it was actually kind of impressive and scary to look at. It's a cool tunnel. Yeah, it's a cool tunnel, but fuck you for lying to me. Oh, my God. Why is it you bold face lie to me? Maybe they... These easily disprovable lies every fucking day. Every fucking I, day I, you lie to me. I, I yeah. do that with... with literally everything though like since yeah i do since i got uh since i got the vaccine (laughs) got boosted Uh and uh just watched people fight over issues and what's that you didn't get reboosted i got reboosted like i got needles bro Mm -hmm. like someone owes me money someone owes me money you boosted up you trust in the science over there I do that. Well, that is the problem. This, this is the problem. Well, this is the thing. I do trust science. Now you're. And I do quiet. trust. I do trust. Uh, get that out of there. <laughs> <laughs> I do trust. <clears throat> I do trust. You know, education, and you know, uh, and because these things came into question around that time. But you know, me getting vaccinated, stuff like that, and then you know, something like a curfew happens where I'm living, or I have a vaccine passport. Things did get to a point where I'm like, okay, it's weird now. And throughout constantly like having discussions with people, some of my closest friends who are like, bro, I can't believe you got fucking vaccinated. Are you fucking stupid? If you fucking, you're going to die in your boxing match now, bro, because you're vaccinated. <laughs> like there's like, like I have, I have conversations with like friends of mine about that stuff. So I constantly got one side of the argument and I would go and look back. And this is something, oh, and then he would show me how this was said here. This is a lie. And I would be like, that's a lie. And then we go back and forth. I realized you could do that by yourself. And so, you know, things from uh, uh, anything that is released has to be corroborated with other people. If Israel says something, no shot, I believe it. However, if the U.S. or like BBC is sharing the same information, then I do. Hamas, sure. I don't obviously do not believe a fucking thing Hamas says at all. But I do. I, I I think a lot of people hold Israel to a different level because it's an actual country, whereas uh, Hamas is, you know, they're the governing body of Gaza. But it's it's different. We don't hold them to the I'll same it, regard, I, and that mismatch leads to like someone like yourself getting really mad when Israel's lying, and it's like, dude, they're both lying. Yeah, and whenever no. anyone says something. You have to go and check it. Like, for example, they we're operating that uh, 10,000 people are dead. I don't – I think 100 people dead is a tragedy. 10 people dead, one person. It's obviously not the point, but the number always comes up, and that number comes from Hamas, like the health minister of Gaza. So oh, we, oh, we, we, we count the bodies. Oh, it, it, took, <laughs> it took a long time to get the bodies counted and – and <laughs> well, no, I was saying, it took a long time. Lost. No, I'm just saying the, 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 the numbers, yeah. 
the numbers oh. <laughs> that get released are they come from one person, one one source. Numbers seem a little high, do they? Numbers well, seem no, a little they high. could be. <laughs> I, 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 they could be higher. In fact, they could be higher. And I really think, like, with the amount of bombing that's going on Where there, are all the bodies? it Where should be. It them? should be higher. It, it, Israel like, claimed. I, I don't think. I'm not saying it should be higher. Like, I think it should be Israel higher. Like, you would expect the number to be higher on October seventh. Forty babies were decapitated. I want pacifiers. On no, no, that no. That not. Bullshit. That was not. That was not. Israel did not claim that babies were decapitated. Ooh, uh, one yeah, source had this. said that there was a decapitated baby. And there was separately a soldier who was decapitated. A third news source took that, mixed it into one, and people ran with it on Twitter and it got out of hand. There was never a decapitated baby. There was one baby found in the oven. Apparently, the 200 foreign journalists watched all this footage that Israel did not want to release to public for the dignity of the victims or whatever, but they invited 200 foreign journalists to come in and they had said that there was a baby in an oven. But there was no decapitated baby. Uh, but obviously, I thought it was the that's... IDF that said the initial decapitated baby thing, and then the IDF gave that info to media apparatuses, who then said, "Like this is true." I, but they I went, I went looking for that because I was like, "Where did that start from?" I saw one article from one news source in Israel that said so that there was a decapitated give me the floor baby for on a second. Of... On Wednesday, a spokesman for Israel Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu told CNN that babies and toddlers were found with their heads decapitated in southern Israel after the Hamas attack. So I have it here that it was the spokesman for Benjamin Netanyahu who said it. Yeah, and then the Biden, I think Biden repeated it and then mm -hmm. later when asked about it, they were like, well, we didn't we haven't seen anything. No, but Biden said I remember Biden saying something that's made it even worse. Biden said he did see it, something like that. He was like, yeah, I saw it mm -hmm. or I saw a decapitated. Baby. I remember exactly but the thing what he is said, and it was his muttering, mumbling nonsense that doesn't allow you to get hmm. like he sort of says the sentence three times, basically the same sentence at like moving the parts around. So you can't really tell exactly what he means. He's like the things I saw, the things, <laughs> things I saw. I have I a little saw. more. The IDF Maybe. claimed that they had relative confidence that the 40 decapitated babies was true. So to say that this but had nothing know, to do with Israel's but, official communications is off target. And like you said, I think I'm applying a higher standard to Israel than I am Hamas. And that maybe that's unfair. But they no, are. I don't think it's unfair. I don't think it's unfair. I, that's what we're they're democratically to do. elected. They're, they're yeah. supposed to be the good guys. They have an Air Force. And, yeah. They have an but Air Force. Know, and they're just know. bold face lying to us every fucking day. I saw an Israeli spokesman with my own eyes recently, like this week, claim that they haven't killed a single minor in Gaza. Not one child has that died. Who said that? No, no, no. Um, they said miners. There's no yes. miners allowed in Gaza. <laughs> you uh, leave those resources in the ground. He was an official spokesman for Israel on like a major, I don't know, maybe it was C-SPAN or something. Or NPR and he said they lot. didn't kill a single miner? Yes. They wouldn't admit to killing a single person who wasn't like a Hamas warrior. Not one. And we're like, dude, you bombed a what? refugee but camp. But they do right? say, no, mm -hmm. they didn't bomb a refugee camp. Okay. That, that city, wrong. that city, that part of the city is literally called it's the name that was a refugee camp that's what used to be a refugee camp it's actually a city now but it has the name refugee camp in it but it wasn't a functioning like if you look there you're going to see building structures that's a place okay that's just, an actual just location you're however it doesn't change it doesn't change the things like i i, I like i i so it was a the camp where the palestinians mistake, were sort of concentrated there are people there <laughs> uh, whatever it is whatever it is there's people there's gonna be people people are getting bombed people like no it, and it's counts. fucked up and it's fucked up and i i know that like even after 9 11 how long it took to count and identify bodies happened in you know there are unidentified uh people to this day at 9 11 3, 000, however many uh but but, there, but in gaza in gaza biden got a 212 page document with uh six thousand uh dead uh palestinians with their unique I identification number their gender their first and last name that's an incredible that's incredible that's incredible to be able to mm -hmm. account for all of those bodies in an active war zone under the rubble without the manpower in such a short period of time the number could be higher it could be I higher i don't deny that also having said that though there isn't a single hamas death not one 
Hamas terrorist, literally, except for like 10, 10 dudes yeah, that I, Israel knows by name. In? None of those people or those bodies are Hamas. They're only people. But if you watch October 7th, <clears throat> and I watch a lot of those videos, those people come in and they look like, some of them look like an Uber driver. They look like a random dude. They're not wearing a green bandana with a balaclava and military fatigues, but they're going in there and they have a grenade in their hand and they're just a guy. So when that, when, or when that person dies, like that's not a Hamas soldier. Well, to some people it is, but to a lot of people, that's just a guy. Um, so the, the numbers, they could be way higher, but once again, I hold off until something's corroborated and then I'll operate on that. And right now it's inconclusive. And if you told me it was more than 10,000, like I would believe that. Yeah. Um, I mean, but they, everyone they knew that. Every, the I, everyone there knew that. Like Hamas knew that when they attacked, they knew that Israel could do that. Um, I think it's the problem is this is the mistake that's happening. It's because you know how you said you hold it to a higher standard? Mm -hmm. I do too. I do hold it to a higher standard. I don't, uh, you know, agree with the politics in Israel, even though they're my people. Like, I, I, I just, I don't, you know, I, I have a, this, I dislike that Bin Laden became cool again on TikTok. I don't like the whole martyr aspect. <laughs> I don't support that. I don't like when people, you know, you like dis, dis, writings. Don't, don't chuckle. When people, <laughs> when people dis, dislike uh, the USA or dis Canada, you know, like I like these places. I'm, I'm happy that I'm from here. And um, so mm. it, it comes from that place. These, I don't agree with everything israel does it's not automatically my people i obviously don't want this shit happening or yeah. existing but they knew when they did that that this could happen and because they hold israel to a higher standard too but that's what we're all, when they attack that it yeah but that's way. where we're all yeah. we're all making this mistake is we're, yeah, treating, we're holding of, them we're holding them to a higher standard and uh, it seems like they're not holding themselves to a higher standard they are now in terrorist mode also so you're watching. I think they're in war you're winning mode. So there's, there's a lot of war winning mode. Yeah, punishment. and it's it's, it's a thin line. A it is. We it always... actually is because that's terrorism is also how you win a war. So like they're well, just they're just having a conversation in terrorism now and holding them to a higher standard is is just useless thing to do right now. When people were like cease fire right into your senator, tell them to cease fire. Yeah, I would. I want them to stop bombing. I don't like the like how you know people are hating Jews because it's Israel that you know, but they're not going to do that until they have all the hostages. And the reason the first time something like this happened, Hamas took one hostage, one IDF soldier, and Israel traded over a thousand prisoners of war to get him back. People that Israel said was responsible for over 550 deaths, they traded it for that one soldier. So Hamas did it again. Probably thought they would get a lot of hostages traded a lot of prisoners they asked for ten thousand at first and many, it looks like, like israel's like it looks like israel's like no dude we're playing we're playing this game now we're playing the same game that you do let me jump in but we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna fucking uh yeah. bomb like crazy and i'm not saying that's the right thing but yeah, everyone should be like not. hamas release the hostages release every single hostage and then let's have a, the ceasefire the, the support would be overwhelming if Hamas wasn't holding hostages. Why are they holding hostages? You don't need them. There's no leverage. They're still bombing you like crazy. And I wish they'd stop just if you release so, the hostage, but there's some sort of... Okay, Harley, you're filibustering at this point. You've been yeah. going for so long. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, Kyle said they're in war-winning mode, which is interesting. And, and he's... We haven't fought a war with that attitude in a long time. Since like Iraq, we've been trying to win over hearts and minds in the 90s. The Iraq won. And we haven't really won wars that way. We did win in World War II, America single-handedly, by doing it the way that Israel's doing it <laughs> back now. Back to back, just like UGA. <laughs> and uh, um, maybe Kyle's right. Maybe that's how you win wars. And this hearts and minds thing doesn't do it. We'll or stop when, they when, they when they're dead or they surrender. That's when we stop. That's but how the you other side of it, you know, you need every to. time you kill a kid, all you create four more terrorists. True. You, you just, right? You, Taylor, you do that true. when you stop. I say, I don't know. No, I don't know that's how to true. Win a war. Oh, yeah, I'm not saying, like, and I, mean, I never said, said but I never said Israel should do this. I never said, I was yeah. just saying it's something that can happen. And, you know, well, and it is happening there. Like, the reason the world is like a lot of people in the world are like, this is fucked up is because like the collective punishment going on of like, well, Hamas knew that. If they did this, 
We would we had the capacity to go scorched earth on innocent people who live there. And so now it's like, okay, well, that's fucked. Like lots of these people, the majority had nothing to do with this. And they're still mm -hmm. getting displaced and bombed and fucked with. Yeah, people, and but so people, turns off people at the viewers, people like at the South the, uh, in the Civil War. People, and we laugh and laugh about how Atlanta burned, and they won the war, and it was over. Yeah, but that but was we war. agree the Yankees were pretty badass. Yeah, yes, but they picking were. aside, they picking aside here, like if 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 there <laughs> right, was, uh, right. I guess the cause, the cause of October seventh would be to bring attention to the mismatch of what's going of 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 how the palestinian yeah. people are treated that's why they so when they we we're here and we ha we get to this conversation a lot of people will be like i'll see people be like free palestine or they'll be like you know uh i, I condemn israel or even if they're like i condemn hamas cool cool man so what up what's up what are we doing now we're at this point in the conversation cool we're caught up on who we're picking in the war and who we think should stop bombing or who should do more attacks or who should do less but what are we doing we j we still have this problem here with these two people that are literally the craziest part they're fucking compatible people these people are like i've been to israel it's so fucking similar the the food that are consumed the days of prayer practically how they pray in many ways it's so compatible and they're at the same location when you're in israel there are muslims on one side and there are israelis uh jews on the other side right. and they're praying to the same wall of this temple well, like you know what's so woody have you been following the ukraine war I mean, speaking of the ghost of kiev i i know it's fallen a bit by the wayside here's what i know maybe fill me in that's season two it's not season one bro we're on season two now I see um I, I've seen Zelensky complaining that maybe the weapons aren't coming in the way he likes them to come in. Yeah, you know, uh -huh. daddy's not happy. He'd like he'd like the money to be rolling in on time. And um while the war seems to have stagnated, and I, I saw one commentator say that they've been moving at the same pace as the Battle of the Somme from World Ooh, War One. Yeah, which, which is if you like, don't know, is that no. grindy battle where like eight hundred thousand men died grinding in a field for years. They literally like they were there so long, like tanks got invented. <laughs> they were like, We need something. Yeah. And like while guys are waiting, like tanks started to exist now. Like yes. they, they were conceptualized, executed, and delivered while this battle sat in fucking holes. It's insane. Okay. Scariest sounding, scariest sounding ship, by the way. But I also heard that the Ukrainians had made it across the Dnipro River, I think it is, and yeah. that that was a big deal because they weren't just across; they were able to go across at any any time they wanted because the other side is secure now. But I also hear <laughs> that real that Bakhmut that. city didn't matter at all, and it's just it was a huge drain. So here's what I know: one, like you said, yeah. they they crossed the Dnipro River. The Ukrainian side had the high ground, and the Russian side, which is also Ukraine, had the low ground, which gave them a huge advantage. You would think crossing the river would be a big problem, so vulnerable and such. But they kind of had fire control over the far side because of the altitude advantage. Mm -hmm. And uh, now they have, I think, multiple bridges where they're rolling armor over. I'm not sure if, about tanks, but they have lots of things that look like tanks to normal people like me. So, sure, APCs, um, Bradley's yeah. probably. We're, that's what we're sending, and yeah, numerous so the, amounts. The the hardware you know so much more about than I do, but I, I do know that they're not just people with guns anymore on boats. They're bridges. There's a name for the temporary bridges they set up. I forget, but mm -hmm. uh, they, they can drive tanks or tank like things over. Neat. And um, at first, I thought that attack vector was just a distraction they had been sort of attacking in two places like a seesaw so like mm -hmm. they attack here they make the russians reinforce and then that makes it lighter over here where they can attack but it now it looks like that Dnipro river is something they're actually trying to forge a big attack through a river you know across on the other side of the river okay what do i know I, i've yeah. learned i don't know very much about conducting war during this ukraine thing i always thought that Perhaps some common sense would get you pretty far, and no, it takes actual expertise to be good at this. So I just what, watch. What I learned from this war is that, uh, like, uh, no one's ever going to invade the USA. It was that old quote uh, that I thought was like a Chinese. I think it was a Chinese. Japanese. Yeah, he was like, no one will ever be able to invade the USA because there'll be a, a a gun behind every blade of grass, and you actually saw it in effect in Ukraine. Someone would kick open a door, 
get shot. And now, like, the other four 21-year-old dudes that are outside and just saw their boy get shot are less inclined to be the first knocker at the next door when every single house, like, a person has a gun and they shoot back at you. Every single home is just, it's, so like... That it makes it hard. Yeah. For, like, so, USA is just, like, the... It's you, also you're enormous. People. It's enormous, the, the United States of America. It, it, like, it, it And we really... have some huge advantages. Like, I guess the, the fact that... We have allies to both north and south. The we biggest oceans, oceans on the sides on, are The biggest oceans on the sides. Uh, and uh, I forget something about the mountain ranges or something, and it's just a really hard place to attack. So yeah. and defensively, we're really good. Offensively, it, it's still hard. Um, yeah, Bakhmut, like you amazing. said, apparently Bakhmut wasn't important. They always said it wasn't, that it was a Pyrrhic victory, and I guess that's mm. kind of held true. But now they're attacking Andivka and Divka and and Drivka, there's two eyes, so you have to Fuck say like Evka or something, and it's weird to Eve. me. Uh, but uh, um, that is a city that apparently is strategically important, and the Ukrainians really do want to keep it. Yeah. And every day they're losing like another 100, 500 meters, and it's just they're surrounding it with this like pincher movement, and they can't seem to stop it. Yeah. I'm a spectator, so I'm just here for the footage. I saw some crazy shit a couple days ago. I sent it to the group chat. You may not have seen it, but this guy's laying on the ground with an AK, and he's shooting full auto at a drone that's coming right at him. And when it hits him, I mean, he shoots to the until it hits him. And when it is does, he a Russian him, it, or an Ukrainian? I think he's a Russian, but he is blown into but chunks. It's not one of those explosions where it's so big you can't really tell like what happened. You're like, whoa, he's just kind of gone. It was like just the bright size to. Blow him apart, and, uh, and, but but to see him, you could see the muzzle flash and the and the 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 gases coming out of the AK because he's on his side, lying down. He's going, bup, 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 and he just explodes, and that was some hard shit. I, that was one of the wilder clips I've seen in a while. That's the another main problem like... with the Israeli thing to me is, I'm a little. There's been some propaganda moments where it's like, what, mm -hmm. are you trying to put one over on me? And then on top of that. I'm not seeing like the baddies. I haven't seen any of these Hamas guys we keep talking about. Like, like, like. Get, don't get me wrong. I, I, I'm all for getting them and doing whatever it takes to get them. But man, they haven't drug one out yet and been like, yeah, this is Pete. He was they one of them. They don't do that. You guys don't do that either. Like, we don't do that in the USA. Like, you know, you know, that's not. It's not what you do. Like, you've, bro. They remember how how much You're they right. want you to see Saddam Hussein's body. Yeah. Like no one, everyone wanted to see it. They never. You know what to. footage we you do? You know see why? My, my logic, because I'm not like I'm also like I'm always like questioning shit. They made it normal to not show you the body, so you'll understand forever when they don't show you the body. Because they like it's better for them to just be like, yeah, we got them. Don't worry about it. Because who knows what type of deals some people will make in the future or that have existed already, and they want to be able to have that option. If we get used to being like, here's the body, that's the guy, then we're well, always going to want to see the body. I don't mean necessarily when a leader's taken out. I just mean as the, this war is going on, I I hear about them fighting the enemy. Like they're in the streets with machine guns, like like infantry yeah. and and, and not and GoPros. Tanks. Where are your GoPros? And 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 they're wearing GoPros. They're 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 holding the footage, they're not releasing it. And I'm just saying if they're shooting at bad guys who are shooting at them, where are those bad guys? I would love to see a dead guy in the street with an AK who like, yeah, look at him. He was going to shoot us, but we got him first. Like, I haven't seen that. Oh, I and I that. saw that. I've seen that in every war that we fought. It's like like you yeah. know, you no, I, I I have I have those. I've seen those. America does release it, and we release it in black and white from helicopters, and it's yeah. cold and calculated. Where they're like, "All right, uh, clear to shoot." Roger yeah. that. Fucking Roger got that. Good. You know, like, Shane Gillis joke. Good, 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 good. Clear and uh, yeah, it, <laughs> the, the Shane like Gillis <laughs> joke. He's like the, the the you know the Taliban or whatever. They're out there with flip flops in a dream. You like <laughs> you you could tell every time they actually blow up a tank, they're surprised. They're like, mm -hmm. oh no. Like they're freaking out they're at, that it actually worked. Meanwhile, our guys are just cold, black yeah. and white, crosshair in the middle of the night from a mile away. Did it, did it, did it, did it. Clear. <laughs> That's a sociopath. Right? <laughs> like I got, he's like, I got nothing in common with that guy. You can't tell by the sound, but he just killed 14 people. <laughs> you know, 14 people <laughs> running around. And the, yeah. the infrared light that you went from seeing a human like running across a desert of some sort to just like splatter stains all over the sand. 
Yeah, that, that white thermal splatter. Yeah, I sent that, you. Uh, I sent you guys a video because when you said that you never see that, it's true. There's much less of that footage, like compared to Ukraine, Russia. Yeah. Um, pro and I would assume it's because like Israel's definitely controlling or stopping the release. Whereas the in Ukraine, it look, Ukraine it looks like they could go fucking online on TikTok. I've seen them online Daily. on TikTok. Yeah. Daily um, videos. But Hamas and IDF aren't later. really on TikTok as much. Uh, but this video that I sent you, I wouldn't click it because I, uh, I, it fucking kind of fucked me. Yeah, up. we can't show this. I watched no, there's it. actually I this one. This one is visually there's nothing there. It's yeah. it's it's only the sound. It's the guy gets shot, and then another guy runs over and like picks up the GoPro or the gun and the go, and he run, takes a couple steps. He gets shot, and then the, for a minute you hear him, and it's the worst for me. It was the worst combat footage video I've seen. And there's literally nothing on screen. It's just the sound. It's like you just see yeah. like the the blood stain. But yeah, he's really it's he's just really the labor. A, it's the labor breathing bit. and the blood like sound, and it's so fucking. It's it's literally horrific. It's nightmarish. He's playing like, it up for clicks. Yeah, mm -hmm, exactly, yeah. Mm -hmm, <laughs> cry baby. Now, I I hear how it's impactful, Harley. The ones that impacted me the most were the um, grenades dropping from drones in Ukraine. Because so crazy. At least the footage, so to describe the, the footage Harley showed a little bit, is some urban fighting, and a guy's running in what looks like kind of next to a street on the sidewalk, and he gets shot, and like you said, another guy comes, and he gets shot, and it's rough. But at least they got killed because they did dumb things, like running across in the open. If you see your buddy drop in Call of Duty, you don't instantly That's all I was thinking, the not enough video spot. games. Video games yeah. help you a lot in that sense, I'm not even joking. They can, right? who would ever run over to the body when he got sniped? <laughs> and Tarkov, you, you know, fucking run to the shadows, run to the shadows, we're gonna do a big J-hook. Let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> exactly, yeah, or, you know, maybe you heard with You the left, Taylor, and now we're spending more money on Ukraine. Okay, but wait, wait, I was <laughs> making a point. What's scary to me, is when the drones drop in the uh, trenches, the, the drones drop grenades in the trenches, because those people did nothing wrong. They were hidden. They were under their little camouflage netting. They were Camouflet. sleeping, maybe. They didn't make any noise. They didn't start a fire. They, they were just freezing in a sh little trench, and a drone came and dropped a grenade right on them. And when you die in war, even though you did everything right, that's extra scary to me. That did you see the guy? Me. And they're like There's 20. A, see the guy on the motorcycle? Like he's on yes. a motorcycle hauling ass. The and day the, of his life. He's having the, the best day of his life. He's like, war is he's a having the blast. He's got him like a two-stroke KTM or something like that. I think it's a Husqvarna. And oh, he's just crazy. ripping across. It looks like a blast. This is what I do on my best days. But I don't have drones chasing me. Uh, no, that was but like the a Ukrainians call of duty are death. coming, and they yeah. hate Husqvarna motorcycles. Apparently, <laughs> <laughs> so they've got a suicide drone that they just roll up behind him, and, I, and he's like, "Oh no!" And it, it just explodes him. You don't get to see what happens with those because you are the camera, and the camera is a bomb, so it goes fuzzy when it detonates on them. But I've seen so many where you see the the guy's face, like his expression of surprise. I've seen them fly in the dr the driver's side side window of a moving truck like this guy's driving like a canvas truck you know and the, the, a, a cargo truck maybe full of ammo who knows what the fuck but it flew in his goddamn window and and, and he's like as it like detonates <laughs> that's Dude. the worst like it, like you said woody there's we, we're used to these movies that we watch where every when you die it's it's either you giving your life to get the job done or you messed up and like, there's like a grizzled either... vet who identifies what your mistake was. Yeah, he's over there behind cover, like, get down, you idiots, get down, what are you doing? <laughs> We're exposed from the ridge! Defilade! Defilade! Huh? And that guy's dead. Yes, like, yes. that's what we see in movies, because we like to believe that... Yeah. If we keep our wits about us and we're brave and we do things that every everything the Sarge tells us, then we'll just get out of it. Nothing bad will happen to us. They, they won't mm -hmm. cheat us out of our lives. But this war shows us that, no. You'll hear it cut like like you might hear it thirty seconds before it kills you, but that's how much warning you've got to maybe shoot a drone out of the air with your AK. Yeah, you hear it oh. like you see it sometimes. Some of them are like, suicide drones that that like hit them. Like yeah. I was shooting a drone out of the air watch was my plan, right? That's what I thought I would do. Like why why doesn't anyone shoot the drones? Well, one two things. You're used to seeing friendly drones constantly, right? The Russians have drones. They're flying them around. You, I don't know that I can spot a drone and know if it's mine or yours. And you might get. It's not clear you'll hear it either. 
they're small and with all the noise going on it's not so clear that you hear, hear the buzzing they don't seem like they hear it yeah good point but when also, they do they i've seen them play dead i've seen some play loud. dead when they, i guess they hear it they look up and then you see them not move and then oh, a grenade yeah. falls and what, what i learned from this is so I, good i never realized <laughs> i never realized how completely ineffective grenades are to be honest with you i watch people eat grenades and like shuffle away from it like as if like you know they're not in they're, they're not out of battle like they're not completely incapacitated they're wounded not even yeah. they're, they're like they're, they're not even incapacitated they're like still capable um i've also seen people pull their own grenade pin after eating a grenade because i guess there's damage there that i can't see from so far away but it's yeah it's really grenades in movies blow up the room and yeah. here it, it, it drops next to the tend to be written by people who have never gone to war like <laughs> they don't know their their experience is informed by other movies like you can <laughs> I, <laughs> cycle i remember the the iraq part two uh footage of of this guy being like fuck you haji and then throwing an m67 over grenade over this wall into like this garage That's the normal the normal american one with all the bumps it, it, the, the baseball no bumps, the, grenade. the, the, the um, smooth one the m67 is oh. the round one like the in tarkov it's the long fuse that you throw and then push the room um but they <laughs> threw that fucker and it just goes bang it's not kaboom and like cars flying and fireballs there's no fireball you know mm -hmm. it's just a it's, it's a big pop and then all of that shell is being thrown around in a, and maybe it hits you, maybe it doesn't. Maybe it goes, hits an artery and you bleed out right there. That's the idea, right? Just to create a whole wall of death and injury. And it doesn't take that much injury to make a person combat ineffective. Like if I ice picked your calf, oh. you probably suck after that for a while anyway. What if it gets infected? Did you clean the ice pick? No, I dipped it in the pool. <laughs> uh, well played, well played. <laughs> oh, I like it. I like. Do you it. think that wars would slow down? You know how they, they, they do like oh. agreements where they're like, we won't use shotguns in the trenches, or like we still did it anyway, or like no. we won't use what? nukes. Like nobody's touching nukes. How about we just made an like, agreement right, with China? Everyone can go to war with whoever they want, but you can so, no longer use any ranged weapons that don't use arrows. I think so you have they, like they just did, it's they just did something like that. They just agreed on. There's um, no way they did like this. That's a retarded just, thing I just said. <laughs> well, <laughs> no, people they say that, but then Israel's like, no, thank you. No, what? No, we read it. We US. saw it, but no, you don't yeah. get it. Yeah, Kyle, we have news. We don't admit it. Uh, China and the U.S. and a few other countries they they were agreeing not to use AI um, targeting for drones oh. and for some other weapon systems. I'm I'm imagining like cannons that are mounted on things. Um, which is a good is a, basically the anti Terminator policy, which is a great idea. Like like, it, dude. But Harley in Terminator, mentioned, Harley mentioned during during the battles in World okay. War One, technology they 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 got stalemated. Years passed, and they had to come up with a technology to break that Thanks, stalemate. Chemical gas. You don't want that. The answer to that to ever be Terminators. I'm sorry. I do not want to ever see a goddamn Terminator. And I'm not talking about an Arnold Schwarzenegger looking motherfucker. But maybe just some sort of a, a, a small robotic tank that has like machine guns on it and 360 degree thermal and anything it sees it can kill like RoboCop and like that like was robot dogs. No, they have. those robots. But imagine if if they kick that robot the dog AI over. Robot I'm thing? Thing? You know what the they AI, do? Have? AI robot thing would analyze everything about life, analyze it all. <laughs> and and then they would just all those robots that the the U.S. government tailor paid for and everything like that. <laughs> they're all gonna be like, tsh, 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 and it's like we have analyzed all of human history. Tsh, we are Muslim. Jihadi <laughs> sequences no! initiated. No! <laughs> and then we have Muslim Jews or Muslim robots and Jew robots fighting. Be like That's fuck. June. That's Some literally help. Dune. Like, like, then uh, you could I be 80 years old Dune and be like, I like remember robot. the Jewish robot wars. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's pretty cool that they have now in Ukraine? They have drone stretchers. So these are like little tanks that are one foot tall. I don't know how to describe them. They're tanks because they're treaded. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's just a stretcher on treads. They drive it over to the wounded. The guy maybe rolls over onto it, and then the wheel the treads him out. Jerry Baber showed me that 10 years ago, and he was oh. like, he was like, he was like, this is gonna, this is, they'll use this one to get a wounded infantryman off the battlefield, load mm -hmm. the ground. And Cause, and he, his whole thing, he, he's the AA 12 guy. So any okay. technology he came across, he was like, put an AA 12 on it. 
because he had to eat. <laughs> so I, swear I like God. this guy. <laughs> I, I, literally, like, because he had the he, he bought the A12. Your coffee like, maker, I, really? <laughs> he bought the designs and the, the the rights to it and everything from a guy from Georgia, and then he made it work. And but but he was always he had robots with the A12s, like like aircraft, like um, rotors. But his rotors That's were great. gasoline engines and like multiple, mm, not like quad, that. like hectar octa like it mm-hmm. was a big fucking thing that could carry dual mounted guns and like fly he's and he explained drone warfare way before i knew it existed he was like mm. you got a squad pinned down they ain't send this fella up do recon even shoot i don't remember him saying anything about dropping explosives i didn't hear anything about that until richard ryan mm-hmm. made that fucking youtube video that's the first time I ever. So who's really responsible for all that, Richard? Yeah, Richard Ryan. Saw him. Richard I actually Ryan. saw him like two weeks ago, and we were talking about uh, three weeks ago talking about drones. I haven't seen him in a long time, and uh, he. Was, Which one of uh, you is taller? Uh, Harley. I, yeah, I'm Harley a little is bit taller. A little bit taller. Yeah. I know you're both very tall. Uh, um, but he's uh, he's living the life out in Texas. He's fucking doing it, but he's still like. Still, like having conversations about drones. <laughs> <laughs> that guy just loves drones. He's he's in it for the the love of the he's game. He's like the guy. He's like the guy. Uh. Yeah, he was always into drones. Like like just like like he was one of the early adopters to do like camera drones and the the DJ, whatever those things were called and get get those drone shots. They became so commonplace, you know. After a while, and, you know, when everybody's like, oh yeah, it's a drone shot, and everybody knows what it is. But he was yeah, he was that, that in slow mo. He invested all that money in those slow mo cameras, a quarter mil or something, maybe more. Paid off. I think so. Probably. Oh, I thought it would be like a for sure. I don't know. I, mean, I, I don't know, know either. Finances. I can't remember rude, the last time I watched a rude question. video on, on the YouTube. <laughs> you don't text well, him that and be like, break down your your, your finances for me, Richard. <laughs> I want to know how impressed to be with your business. I'm, gonna, I'm a hobbyist accountant. Can you send me your 1040s? <laughs> I might run through your numbers real quick, see if anything. Uh, anything you just send back like, like hmm. Like, <laughs> just, give me Jan- just give me January to December 2020. Yeah, I'll go through that real quick. Hmm. Yeah, no, nobody wants that. I want another fun video game. I've been downloading so many. Okay, I got games it. Okay, I got it. And none of them have been tickling my fancy. Thank you. 